Free. Free radio. So here I am at Hart Hill School in Nuneaton. Why am I here? No, I'm not here to get an education. I did that many years ago at Ernstwood Grange and I'd rather forget about that. But I'm here to surprise a very special girl and to tell us more, here's mum Julie. Hello Julie. Hi JD. Now you're nominating your daughter, aren't you? I am. Uh, do you want to tell us who she is and why? Um, she's Jessica Fitton, she's 14 and the last two years she's been through uh, quite a considerable lot with illness and um, back in the middle of May um, without her I don't know what I'd have done um, we did the 26 mile moonwalk around London um, in our bras nice. <laughs> and, um, absolutely and about five miles in um, I carried an injury to my leg right. um, without Jessica I don't think I'd have got around the course um, she kept me going um, at 20 miles when it was really hurting she'd go off in front go to the the next flag marker come back and tell me that the next mile was only around the corner and the last mile she just made it seem like it was from here to, to the corner she was unbelievable um, and without her I don't think I'd have got round and at three in the morning when we're freezing cold and my leg was throbbing her smile her sense of humour and her character was just unbelievable now you say that she's had illnesses and she's yeah. had a bit of a tough time do you want to explain what's gone on um she was 12, um, she was a really active swimmer, loved doing active sports at school, um, never had a day off, um, all of a sudden took Paulie, um, thought nothing of it, thought viral infection, um, it transpired that she caught shingles at 12, um, but such was a, a determination to carry on swimming, we thought we'd beaten shingles, um, she carried on swimming and um, ended up with chronic fatigue syndrome. Free. Free radio. She knows how hard it is to go through things and she helps me for everything that I need to help with. So And a good yeah. friend? Very good friend. Now we're gonna surprise her today. You tell me she's a big Coventry Blaze fan. She is indeed. Now we've got Scorch and Matt Soda from she's the Blaze who are gonna surprise her during class. How do you think she'll react? I think she's gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she I think she'll find it funny, but then she's gonna kill us in the end. <laughs> I think it'll be a good surprise, though. I think she's going to, yeah, absolutely. And after everything, I think I, I couldn't think of a better way just to tell her how much we love her and we think she's amazing and she's so special and just to keep going. All right, well, let's and go she's to the class. inspiration. She is, yeah, you're right. And, and the, just want to explain what this medal yeah, is. Yeah, this is the medal that she got for completing the 26.2 miles. And if she hadn't have been for me, she'd have done it in well under seven hours. <laughs> but instead, we did it in under eight. Oh, bless. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's go and find her in the classroom and she'll really. Yeah, go and surprise her. Thanks, yeah. Let's go and do it. Okay, so we've climbed stairs, we've got Scorch up in a lift. It's a proper operation, this. Uh, Matt Soderstrom ready to go. And the classroom um, where Jessica is is literally just to my right. Now, the teacher doesn't even know about this, so it's going to be a big surprise. So I'm so nervous. So we're going to run in, announce what we're going to do, get Jessica up, and then surprise them with these two and her little JD Heroes gift. So fingers crossed. It all goes well. Hello. Sorry to bother. Um, is Jessica Finton here? Yeah. Jessica, where are you? Jessica, where is she? Is this you? Come here, Jess. Come here. Don't be scared. You all right? Yeah. I don't know if you know who I am. Yeah. Um, I'm JD from the JD Show on Free Radio. Everybody's looking at me really scared and worried, and I'm shaking as well. Um, we do a thing on the JD Show every Wednesday called JD's Heroes, where basically people nominate somebody that they know who's really special and who's amazing to receive a little surprise for being a JD hero. Yeah. Now, outside that door, I've got your mum and your best friend. Should we bring mum in? Mum and Tamsin in. Sorry, I, there's nothing worse than your mum doing something like this. Hi, Mom. Hi, Tamsin. Everybody say hello, Mom. Hi, Tamsin. Go on, say hello. Don't be scared. Hi, hi. Would you like to stand here with me? Oh, <laughs> now, your mum has nominated you um, to be a JD hero um, because of what you've been through. Now, I'm not sure if the class are aware, but, you know, Jess has had to put with um, some bad illnesses. Um, and recently, you did the moonwalk. Yeah. Do you want to explain what that was? Um, I walked 26 miles around London in the middle of the night. Wow. Apparently in bras as well. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> uh, and what was that for? Um, it raises money for breast cancer. And how much money did you raise? 
about about 250 pounds. Come on, you're a classmate. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Also, you've been ill, and I know that obviously before you were ill, you were really into swimming, you were quite athletic, you know, you were doing a lot. Um, how did the illness affect you? Um, I was off swimming for a really long time, and that. <laughs> D did you miss it? Yeah. Uh, but now, how, how is it now? Are you all good, fit and healthy yeah, now? Yeah, I'm back to my swimming now. So. And how do you feel? Yeah, I'm happy to be back. <laughs> So for being amazing and for doing the charity work and putting up with, with what you have, as I say, we've got a nomination here from your mum and your best friend. Got a little surprise for you. Two people you may recognise. Shall we bring them in? From the Coventry Blaze, Matt Soderstrom. <laughs> and Scorch the Dragon oh as well. <laughs> now, I'll get Matt to come up. Now, I like to reward people like yourself who are amazing, and we've sorted a little treat out for you. Matty, do you want to explain what we've sorted out for Jessica? Yeah, we got a signed shirt that's signed by all the team, all the players from last year, to give to you. <laughs> and also, we know that you're a season ticket holder at the place, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So the first game that you're going to go to, you're going to be able to bring four of your best friends down with you to watch a game. <laughs> Is that all right? Yes, thank you. Can we give her a round of applause? <laughs> now, I don't know what you're going to say here, and obviously keep it clean, because it's for the radio and on the internet as well, but your mum and Tamsa nominated you for the award. What do you want to say to them? Oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to be something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, she's amazing. She's been through a lot, and we've rewarded her today. A round of applause for Jessica. Thank you. Free radio. Free radio. Today's best music mix. It's nice. <laughs>